My name is Keizo Shimamoto, and I currently work at a ramen shop in Tokyo, <laughs> Japan. I love ramen, and I started a blog about five, six years ago, and I used that blog to go around all the ramen shops in LA, and believe it or not, there are about 75 of them. And also went up to San Francisco, San Diego, Las Vegas, and I just started writing about ramen. I wanted to try and go learn it, so I quit my job as a computer programmer and just moved to Japan and started working at a ramen shop. In 2008, I took a trip from like all across Japan, from Hokkaido to Kyushu, and in 28 days, I ate 55 bowls of ramen. And what amazed me most was that the ramen in every city I went to was different. Like, there's not one bowl that was the same. And even in, within the same cities, the ramen from different shops were different. I'm in New York currently because of the New York Food Film Festival. And basically my friend, who's a, a director, he came to Japan and he's like, I want, Keizo, I want to do a film on you to submit to the F Food Film Festival. Let's just do it. So he came in and in one day we shot it and it, it turned out really, really great. And the Food Film Festival guys loved it. Um, they like brought us out here to New York and we're gonna actually, like the whole theme of the Food Fe Film Festival is like you get to eat what you see on the screen. So I brought all my ingredients over here and we're gonna make soup exactly as we make it in Japan. I mean, we're gonna have ramen, but there's also a lot of famous chefs and they, there's another film, but it's like a Tohoku based film. Like all the famous chefs went over there to help out. So that, I think a lot of people are going to see them as well, but it, it's going to be fun to be the only ramen shop there making ramen. I grew up eating the Tokyo chuka soba, which is shoyu flavored. So I have a lot of favorite shoyu shops in Tokyo, um, but I'm willing to try anything. And there are a lot of new types of ramen because ramen has no boundaries. You could really do anything you want with it, be creative as you want, but lately, popular among foreigners is the green curry ramen that we make. And yeah, it's, it's like a Thai infused Japanese ramen. So it's not completely Thai, but it's not completely Japanese. It's like a mixture, a blend of both worlds and, and it's great. If you ever come to Japan, you have to try it.